a nightmare for any parent. And what's worse is these suspects are still on the loose. These moms tell me they're sharing their story to put attention on what happened to their daughters as well as get justice. <laughs> Terror in a family neighborhood. The, the car pulled up, pulled down the window, pour, pointed a gun at us, and then we all started screaming. And then the people was laughing. Tuesday afternoon, 11-year-old Danae Sharp and her friend, Tania Tatum, walked back home from Cedar Crest Middle School when two strangers with masks pointed a rifle at them. Kind of scared because I thought I might get shot up and never did to say goodbye to my parents anymore. The girl's mom's hearing these words for the first time. Sad and then another is rage like you know this is my baby it's just scary like i said we've been here nine years and i've never ever experienced this ashley baker and kanita sharp worked since tuesday to find out who threatened their children I mean, we want our kids to feel safe going to their friend's house but now it's just it's so frightening out here that you just can't trust anybody baker tells me she went door to door talking to neighbors getting this surveillance video. The footage shows their daughters running away from this white SUV, which looks like an Infiniti QX50. The girls tell me the people inside the car pulled a gun on them right here off screen. Investigators say inside the car is two teens with ski masks. But this is just one of two incidents. Investigators believe the same suspects pulled a gun on another child about a mile away. In this incident, a 12-year-old boy walked home from school when the white SUV pulled up. Investigators say the teens, who are white, called the child the N-word, got out of the car, pointed a rifle at the kid, then tried to fight him before driving away. At one point when I found out that it was racial slurs and stuff, I didn't, I thought, is this like, a, was this a target because all the girls in the group were mixed or black. Baker and Sharp tell me they are sharing their family's traumatic story in an effort to protect other kids. We're able to hold the people accountable because it's not a game. It's not funny. You're terrorizing the community. Pierce County Sheriff's deputies tell me that these suspects are facing charges of intimidation with a weapon. They ask anyone who might have any information to either contact the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers. Reporting here in Pierce County, I'm AJ Janivel for Fox 13 News. AJ, thanks. Now, having someone pull out a gun or a weapon in front of a child can be very scary for them and obviously for us parents as well. So if it happens to your kid, what should you tell them to do? I know, scary we're even talking about this, but according to kidshealth.org, if someone tells your child they have a gun or a weapon, your child should get away from that person quickly and quietly. From there, tell your child to talk to an adult that they trust right away, and if they can't find a teacher or a parent, they of course should call 911, and tell them to give as many details as they possibly can.